Insect flight has been a mystery for scientists for a century. Numerous studies could not explain how insects fly. It was not until the beginning of the 21st century that biologists and engineers unraveled such a mystery. Recently, the Aeronautics, Dynamics and Control Laboratory at the University of California, Irvine has solved a long-standing puzzle about the fascinating stability characteristics of insect flight. Over the past two decades, the biomechanics and engineering communities have reached a consensus that insects are unstable at hovering, similar to their man-made peers, helicopters. So to maintain a stable flight, they have to continuously monitor their attitude during flight and continuously correct for any disturbance. Professor Haytham Taha, the lead investigator of the lab, had another view. The issue is insects have essentially time-varying dynamics. So an insect hovering over a flower is oscillating, vibrating in all directions. On the average, it's hovering over the flower. So averaging seems so natural when analyzing insect flight dynamics. This is what biologists and engineers have adopted to reach the common conclusion of instability. But let us read this quote from the book of Sanders and Verhulst, The Bible of Averaging. To many physicists and astronomers, averaging seems to be such a natural procedure that they do not even bother to justify the process. However, it is important to have a rigorous approximation theory since it is precisely the fact that averaging seems so natural that obscures the pitfalls and restrictions of the method. So we decided to dig more in the mathematical theory of time varying systems to find a more rigorous mathematical analysis tool. In honor of the 70th birthday of the great Russian mathematician Lev Pontragin, the founder of optimal control theory, his students Agrachev and Gamkrelije developed a new calculus for time varying dynamical systems the chronological calculus. Using these advanced math tools, we discovered a very interesting phenomenon. The natural vibration of insect's body during hovering induces a passive, free stabilization mechanism. This phenomenon of vibrational stabilization, stabilization due to vibration, is not new, but was never conceived to apply to insect flight. When you have an unstable system and shake it, vibrate it strong enough it may gain stability for free without feedback. Let me show you a very interesting and expressive example of vibrational stabilization. This is an inverted pendulum. The upper equilibrium point is not stable because of the gravity. If you shake it up and down, it becomes stable. Notice how it resists disturbance. It emulates a spring action. Indeed, this virtual spring action is induced by the vibration, which stabilizes the pendulum against gravity. So we found that insects, particularly the large ones like moth and small birds like hummingbird, exploit the same phenomenon to stabilize their flight dynamics naturally without feedback. To demonstrate that, we built this experimental setup. It's a two degree of freedom flapping robot. It moves along this arc depending on how fast it flaps. When it flaps slowly, it's down and vibrational stabilization is not enough. The system is unstable as you see. If we just increase the voltage to the motor without feedback, it then flaps faster, goes up, and then vibrational stabilization is sufficient to stabilize this robotic flapper. It's very robust. If we push it all the way, it comes back. We then called our biology expert, Professor Ty Hedrick at the University of North Carolina to see this beautiful phenomenon in action on a real insect. We were interested in probing how insects recover from in-flight perturbations, and so we conducted a study on hawk moths, or large hovering insects. We'd read an article that used a tiny powder charge strapped to the back of a cockroach, and I thought, why not just shoot moths while they fly? I first tried to engineer a railgun, because that seemed very sciencey, but ended up buying a miniature pirate ship at a local toy store that came replete with a spring-loaded toy cannon. A little 3D printing magic later, and voila, 
we had a successful tool for shooting tiny clay balls at unsuspecting hawk moths. They were perturbed in the air using a plasticine projectile, shot forth from a spring-loaded cannon, struck the moth on the abdomen, caused it to tumble in the air, and subsequently, of course, recover its orientation and stability. And the entire process was report recorded at 1,000 frames per second with three high-speed video cameras. The data from the real moth experiment clearly show evidence of vibrational stabilization. Indeed, it's an absolutely stunning design by nature to make the very instinctive flapping motion of the wings that is inevitably needed to create the lift force to keep the insect aloft. This very same motion naturally stabilizes the flight dynamics without feedback. It seems that the treasures of nature will not disappoint the persistent explorer. Mankind can only stand in humility regarding how much can be learned from tiny creatures like flying insects and birds, wondering how much more we may uncover by persistent exploration.